Bedtime Stories with the Story Club for Kids. Hello children. It's time to wind up for the day and settle down for the night. I hope all of you have brushed your teeth and are ready for bed. Now, let's begin our first bedtime story for tonight. This is the story of Rumpelstiltskin. Once upon a time, in a village far away, there was a king who called the miller to his court. When the miller was presented at the court, he lied to the king about his daughter being excellent at spinning. He said that she could spin gold from straws. So the king ordered him to bring his daughter to the castle. Next day, the miller's daughter went to the castle and was taken to a room. There was a bale of straw and she was asked to spin the straw into gold by next morning. She did not have a choice but to do as told. As the night passed, she started crying, thinking that the king would punish her. Just then, a gnome appeared in the room and told her, I can spin gold out of straw. But what will you give me in return? The miller's daughter offered him her necklace. The gnome agreed and he started spinning the straw into gold. Within some time, he had spun all the straw into gold. The miller's daughter gave him the necklace and he left. Next morning, when the king came to the room, he was surprised to see the gold. So the king took her to the castle's barn which was full of straw and asked the miller's daughter to spin all the straw into gold by next morning. So once again the gnome appeared and told her that he would spin all the straw into gold but in return he wanted something more from her. The miller's daughter offered him her ring. The gnome agreed and he spun all the straw into gold. The next morning when the king saw the shining gold, he became more greedy. So he told the miller's daughter about another barn in the castle full of straws and she had to spin gold out of it by next morning. If she succeeded to do so, the king would marry her and she would be the queen. This time, the barn was bigger than the previous one. The miller's daughter started crying when suddenly the gnome appeared again and told the girl that he would spin all the straw into gold in return for something more. The miller's daughter had nothing to offer him. So the gnome asked her to give him her first born child. She agreed and the gnome started spinning gold out of the straw. Next morning, the king saw the whole barn full of glistening gold and as promised, he married her and announced the miller's daughter as the queen of the kingdom. Soon, a year passed and she gave birth to a baby boy. The gnome appeared in the queen's room and asked her to give him her first born child as promised. But she did not want to give her baby boy to the gnome. After requesting him, he told the queen that she had three days to guess his name. If she guessed it right, he would not take the baby boy with him. The queen called her trusted soldier and asked him to gather every name he could find in the kingdom. In the evening, the soldier gave a list of names to the queen that he found in the kingdom. 
When the gnome appeared, she said all the names from the list, but none of them were correct. The queen sent her soldier out again to go to the farthest corners of the kingdom. She also read all the books in order to search for the name. Next evening, when the gnome appeared again, the queen said all the names she knew, but none of them were correct. This time, the queen called the soldier to go out of the kingdom to search for names. Before the gnome appeared, the soldier returned to the queen with some news. He said, I could not find any new names, but last night, after I left the castle, I saw a gnome dancing in the forest around the fire, singing a strange song. She can search the land, she can search the sky, but a name like mine, she will never come by. Rumpelstiltskin, that's me. The moment the queen heard the name, she knew it was the one. On the last day, when the gnome appeared, she said, I think your name is Rumpelstiltskin. The moment the gnome heard his name, he got angry and stomped on the floor so hard that the floor cracked, making a big hole, which he fell into and was never seen again. The End And now, let us listen to our next story. This story is about Alice in Wonderland, originally written by Lewis Carroll. Once upon a time, there lived a girl called Alice. One day, she sat with her sister near a lake reading a book. The book, however, did not interest her and she got bored. Suddenly, she saw a pink-eyed rabbit running by with a watch in his hand. Curiously, she started following the rabbit until it disappeared in a hole. Alice peeped into the hole and fell inside. She kept falling for what seemed like a very long time till she came upon a little three-legged table made of solid glass. There was nothing on it except a golden key. She turned around to see a tiny door. She tried the golden key in the lock and the door opened. Alice saw a beautiful garden but she could not go out as the door was small. Alice stood wondering what she could do. Just then, she saw a green bottle that had the words drink me written on it she quickly drank from the bottle and before she could realize she had shrunk in size alice could now easily come out of the house and entered the beautiful garden she moved around excitedly till she got bored and wanted to return to her original size. Alice then saw a caterpillar sitting on the top of a large mushroom. He asked Alice to take a bite of the mushroom so that she could grow back to her normal size. She took a bite of the mushroom and grew back to her normal size. She was thrilled. Walking further, she meets a smiling Cheshire cat sitting on a tree. He tells her to go to a tea party nearby. Here she met the Mad Hatter and March Hare. Alice continued her walk until she met the Queen of Hearts playing croquet in the fields. Also present there was the rabbit. After the game, Alice accompanied the Queen of Hearts to her palace where they found out that someone had stolen the heart-shaped tarts from the palace. The Queen of Hearts gets angry, thinking that Alice had taken it 
and decides to teach her a lesson. Alice gets scared and begins pleading to the Queen of Hearts that she hadn't stolen anything. Suddenly, she feels someone shaking her and trying to wake her up. Alice got up with a start to realize that she had fallen asleep while her sister was reading the book. Thus, all the people she met and all the places she saw were just a dream. The End And that's all for tonight. Good night, sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye-bye children.